trashed internet's got mint beard. In fact, more Parasite Eve. Eh. Trying to find the notebooks we can sign in. Since I guess that's an important plot point. Where's your notebook, sir? Oh, there it is. Yep, that should be enough. Does you want to leave your... Oh, wait, he's old. Does you want to leave your number, too? And here's my number. It's 555-F-U-C-K-Y-O-U. Right? Hey, Aya. Over, over here. Hey, hey. Sorry, you're, no one is going to be able to get me to not quote Star Wars A New Hope when I do Let's Plays. It's just going to be a thing. Or Star Trek as appropriate. I don't know why, but C-3PO seems to be a popular droid for me to quote. I guess because you can't really quote R2-D2. I'll get ready to hear that typing. Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. I hear you. I'm working on the remix. We're with the NYPD. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? That's a gun? What is this? This man, I, I, I know him, I think. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. I'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. In the IPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that mitochondria would be set free, not to you. That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what the two mitochondria is like. Sorry if my accent is all over the place. Uh, my German and Russian accents are like two two neurons that are right beside each other, and they get confused. Do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. You cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we are nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know that mitochondria is capable of discharging 20,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from the last night were... For a human to burn and melt, six, uh, 1,600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, 
A tremendous amount of energy will be generated and released. I think now I'm wandering into French by accident. I'm sorry. I'm just, when it comes to accents, sometimes I'm just not great. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that these the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we were born, the hand is merely a gob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells that make up the body are needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. And of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all of this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant is they could evolve at the rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientists wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. Do you know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. Eve? Suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. That? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. I mean, he did. Back to the remix. Remix. This episode is going to be called Dr. Clamp's Remix. So the museum, Carnegie Hall, it's nighttime now, look at this. So Carnegie Hall must have been where the initial incident occurred. Pretty sure, let's just look real fast, because why not? I had my gun this time. Oh wait, no, I, I do have my, I had my gun before. So you on the TV, you're from the 17th precinct, right? Aren't you? The one that survived. Hey, you can't just come bodging in here. You ain't getting no special treatment. I tell you, my holidays are ruined because of this. They better give me extra vacation days for this. What are you doing here? Nothing. I'm just leaving. Gosh. I was looking at the map screen. Alright, so back to the precinct, or station, whatever. Police place. What the hell was wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. Ellipsis. 
That man. I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Alright, looks like we got a break in the case. What? Gotta get back to the station. Alright, hang on. I'm kicking this into turbo. Turbo tastic. Sorry to anyone who's watching this while they're smoking weed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, weren't they waiting for the other scientists to like come to the precinct? <laughs> Alright, I'll stop beatboxing. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, any news on the case? Hope you bag this creep soon. I hate to bump into him on the street. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's a her. I said in there before that it was a, like a lady who turned into like a monster with giant hands. Did you not read my report? The whole place is going nuts. I wonder what's happened. Well, let's go save first. Even though all that occurred was plot, you can never save enough. Oh man, I got some sort of allergy or something going on. I guess we'll talk to him while we're here. Why not? Hey, we have an emergency meeting in the conference room. I mentioned that Nix is kind of a funny name. I'm not sure for Nixon or something, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's go, folks. Something. Go, folks. We're starting the meeting. <laughs> well, this is a solo concert, but scheduled for today. To disappear that's the last night's incident and the concert was cancelled. But people were still gathering with the stage. We would not let another massacre happen again. The concert met the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. What? Daniel. Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel. Oh, yeah. Watch his back. Yes, sir. Yeah. Got another mod permit. Maybe I put this one on my armor this time. Daniel, wait! I, mean, I gotta use this mod permit first before we go save your son! Daniel! <laughs> when are you gonna let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger. Idiot. 
It's supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. That's ages, dude. I mean, you could, the ni the 90s in this here is showing pretty hard. Sorry, I didn't mean to make a scene. So those for you two, they were too careful to gun. Do you have an equipment modification permit with you? Yes. Which gun? I mean, the M16, uh, well, we could. You can't care about this. Eh, eh, eh. Well, I mean, mm, mm, mm. why not? Q. All right, just wait there. On set. So remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns on you. Do you have any ammo in there? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Man, I could do so much better. I can turn that gun to a cannon easy. Uh, you want to leave something here? Uh, don't have any tools to use, so whatever. So, whatever. Hey, Wayne, can you give me a tool? Oh, man. I guess not. I mean, respawning containers are nice, I guess. Mm. Whoa, hold on. Drop an item. Nah, I think I'm all right. All right, so let's, uh, pretty sure we've seen everything. Let's just make sure there's nothing we're missing. Oh, this one's retired. Retiring after this year, he sure does deserve a break. Oh man, okay, all right. Well, yeah, there's slightly different things to say, so that's fine. You might find a container that's been re-upped. Man, I need to find another tool. That would be really useful right now. Because, you know, you can basically just dismantle another gun. You kind of, I mean, it's nice to kind of make it so that you don't, well, maybe not. He said, it's mine, finally. Oh, it's locked. It's eyes underwear or something, I bet. We already talked to everyone. Go to Baker's office when he's not there. That would be cute. Can I loot? Can I loot anything? Looting? No? Okay. I guess police station's kind of. Kind of small and cozy, really, if you think about it. All right, to the cons to, to Central Park. Can I not exit? Okay. Sorry, I know in the recording you can hear me button mashing to try to get things to interact. Oh, here we go. Sorry, that's Ghostbusters. My bad. The 
hell does Melissa or no Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people on a big area. Damn, that thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry! Let's hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Man, this is a pretty high remix, too. Central Pork. Ben! Daniel, stop! You can't go in there, you'll die! Gotta get my boy, rookie. Whoa. Whoa. Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. I'll save Ben for you, Daniel. But, 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 but. I'll get them out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do any good if you're dead. Alright, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. God, trying to sound like freaking uh, Han Solo over here. I love you. I know. Is there a phone out here? I mean... Alright, so before we venture into the park, let's take us a quick little break. So this has been Parasite Eve. I'm Captain McBeard, and I appreciate each and every one of you who watches. Thank you so much, and peace out.